Hi guys, I am Nikki Jackson and welcome to another art video. Today's video we are going to be using some new products that I have just got and that is this lovely colouring book of cards and envelopes. This is the summertime version by Rebecca Jones and I picked this up um, recommended to me from um, one of the girls at my colouring group and it's a really gorgeous book full of lots of lovely um, colouring um, pages that you can turn into cards and they've also got envelopes to decorate as well and at the back you get um, some stickers to seal down the um, the envelopes which is really cute so um, I'll give you a proper flick through of that first and um, to uh, colour them in we are going to try these new Spectrum Aqua markers. Now I think these must these are water based. Um, I hadn't heard of these before so I'm not sure how long they've been out but um, these are blendable with water but we're not going to do that today because that will um, probably wreck the card but I thought they would be ideal for colouring. So um, I chose the um, floral set which are kind of pastel bright kind of colours, a nice selection, my kind of palette. So um, let's crack these open and get started. So let's have a quick look through the book and I will show you a better view of the different cards. So you've got like the image on that side and then the back there that you can write your name on and you just gently tear them out trim the um, edge there and then you fold them over so they've got some great designs a mixture of like shells and underwater theme and uh, on the other side of the card there is also a lovely little border so you can color that in and then write your message inside so i thought that was really really lovely this is a great way to um have like a relaxing hobby that also can bless other people because you can uh, give them to people that you care about for different occasions so uh, like I said some really gorgeous designs and then towards the back they've got these envelopes now these are really detailed they've got the sort of um, fold marks all over the page so you know how to fold them up You've got the little images as well to colour. And then on the back, you've got a whole page to colour as well. So there's lots there, which is really, really lovely. And then at the back, there's the stickers that I mentioned so that you can seal down the backs of the envelopes. And they're all um, summer themes. So you've got some flowers, some shells, fish, puffin, sea lion, crab, um, shells and things like that so all really pretty really pretty colours too so I have picked out this one I thought it was the perfect design for my friend's upcoming birthday and so um, I didn't actually show you the inside this is what that looks like it's got a gorgeous border and a little flower and butterfly in there so um, let's have a go let's crack open these mark pins What I noticed straight away that is different about these pens is they have the actual names of them on the caps instead of numbers and letters like the alcohol version ones. You can get them all out and I can show you what they're like. selection of colours here. So we've got blossom, sunflower, heather, orchid, rose pink, meadow, bud green, um, what's that one say? Begonia, marigold, wildflower, leaf green, jasmine. So gorgeous selection there. And um, this is the card that I've chosen to colour. So uh, let's get started. So I think I'm going to start with the biggest flower over here and um, we should probably swatch these before um, we start colouring anything. 
So let's go ahead and do that first. Now, something else that's very different with these pens is the, the nibs are totally different. So these ones have got a brush nib and a very fine one, which is fantastic, especially for these designs, because I was a bit concerned that all the little details, the um, pens would be too big, but um, no. So that's really good. I love that they've got um, brush um, tips instead of bullet ones. And then you've got the very fine nib for the details. That's a really gorgeous pink. Nice dark purple. Got a few purples here. They look pretty similar, those ones. Yeah, it's really nice. So you've got three purples and three pinks. Really, really gorgeous colours. They go really nice together. Nice green. sponsored video I decided to get these for myself to use at my colouring group that I go to just for fun and I thought it would make a great video so um, yeah let's get started then and colour it in this card so I'm going to put my swatch to the side right so I said that I was going to colour the big flower first so I think I'm going to pick the light pink which is blossom and let's see if we can do it with the brush marker in first. These are really nice. Going down pretty nice. It'll be interesting to see whether they bleed at all over the edges and things and whether we can blend with them. I use the other colours over the top in layers so we can create a nice effect. I love the idea that you can um, do this for somebody and um, make it part of their gift their birthday or an anniversary or something like that. They also do um, Christmas ones, I think, and uh, different occasions for the year. And I think it's just lovely that you can take something that is a relaxing hobby and then um, give it a purpose beyond that and um, gift it to somebody. That's a really lovely idea. Tip for all these details. 
And it's looking really pretty so far. Um, not sure if I use this actually. This is quite dark, so I think I'll put that aside. So now I'm going to work on the it's the green. I think let's just double check. Yeah, that's never. So I think I'm going to go and do the centre now. So we've now finished colouring the card, it turns out really well, so that's the front. I tried to use most of the colours in there as well, that's the back, and then that's the inside, and there's a little, little, uh, 
picture there as well. So um, for this, um, I found the uh, Spectrum Aqua markers really good. Um, I found that when using the finer tip nib that um, it is best not to rub too much otherwise it rubs through the paper but generally they worked fantastic. I found the brush tips a bit hard to get in in all the lines as you can see some of the pink ones I kind of went over a little bit but not too bad and um, generally they're really really good. They've only come through a tiny little bit um, but not very much and they're just a really pretty palette of colours. The only thing that was disappointing was that there wasn't a blue um, so I had to use my aqua markers um, by Electroset to uh, add in a little bit of blue there because I thought that would look pretty as well. So overall I'm really really pleased with it. So that is the um, colouring greeting card book by Rebecca Jones and um, I'll still need to colour in an envelope as well so I shall do that later on but thanks so much for joining me guys I hope you've enjoyed watching me colour this pretty card I'm going to let it dry and then fold it up so um, thanks very much for watching let me know in the comments if you've tried these greeting cards to colour in and I will see you next time bye